ladies and gentlemen, today is the debate of the century. This is the debate to end all debates. We have Cal with the AR-15 slash M16 slash M4 slash whatever. And then we have Tiki with the AK-47. Please don't say my name. Joining us for this debate are three judges who have absolutely no idea about guns at all. Let's go! So my opponent here is going to say things like he has better penetration or that his firearm is more reliable. And these things may be true, but the AR-15 or the M16 or the M4 or the, uh, you know, whatever, it's a very, very reliable system. It is extraordinarily accurate with an accuracy up to 500 meters, which this thing is, you know, a pizzly 200 or 300 meters. This, uh, this firearm is, is extraordinary in the fact that you can carry many, many more rounds and they are very, very effective rounds on target than you could with this, this dope. <laughs> Did you fart? <laughs> <laughs> This is a Tesla and that's a, a bicycle. A bicycle's reliable. AK is horribly reliable. Can be fired in any type of <laughs> You see that does not happen with AK. You do not need sight on AK. AK is fine rifle, original, <clears throat> perfect as it is. Yeah, you say he doesn't need a sight because you don't know how to use one. This is true, he, he taught me how to shoot. <laughs> Funny he says because he supplied me with AK. Uh, it is cheap and reliable. You can outfit whole army for a cost of car. It, it shoots heavy bullet to uh, go through wall better. Higher penetration. That's not true. What? That's not true. Your, your bullet's bigger, which means it has more surface area, which means it has lower penetration. Well, also less gunpowder. What? Slower. It's less gunpowder, slower to oh. It's lower penetration. Sure. I don't know, what the fuck do I say? Sit down! <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what I said! Of course, American paid off judges! So, the AR-15, as it's laid out here, has some extraordinary features. We have a much better compensator there, which is going to keep the muzzle on target, much faster acquisition of target. We got our handguard right here. This is great aluminum, tough stuff. We have a forward assist to help us when the when this system gets a little gummed up. We have a, a port cover to keep that nice and clean. We have an adjustable buttstock so we can adapt to different situations. We're all not built exactly the same. Shout out to the K-Tactical charm mount and this little charm, which keeps the morale really nice and high here. Um, the inter interchangeability of these parts, the adaptability of this firearm, the reliability of this firearm, it's just an extraordinary tool um, really engineered to work with the person. As opposed to this system here with this handguard with no length at all, barrel overheats, you, you can't change your buttstock very much, uh, th this grip is, I mean, th this is totally terrible. What? I think it's called a Bakelite. It's the plastic they use. Bakelite? Bakelite. Bakelite? I think so. Oh. I've been recently informed that this plastic is called Bakelite, which is the worst... N what? <laughs> I did want to mention how disgusting this charm is because it doesn't have a K-Tactical uh, charm mount. It's just a uh, degenerate piece of crap charm that only an AK lover would like. Ironically, the character is carrying an AR-15. Just, just throwing that out there. Um, all right, as you can see here, this is wood and stamped steel. Stamped steel makes it a lot cheaper to make than the AR-15. It, it also makes it a lot faster to make than the AR-15, which is why it is so uh, widespread throughout the Middle East. And as you can see, you don't need a forward assist because uh, you have the bolt handle right there, for the entire thing. And it's just simple and rugged and reliable. And for the AR-15, it's nice and all. It's You've got your uh, your little rail, but it's also uh, it's also milled steel, so uh, it's going to be a lot more expensive. It's going to be it's going to take a lot longer to make. I thought this competition was about which was the best, not which was the cheapest piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> uh, sure. So you can have more of these on the field quicker, and uh, you can have less of these on the field for. Uh... Tiki, I don't think anybody uh, gives a crap about how 
well it can be produced in a mass scale. I think people are trying to um, figure out whether they want to purchase one or not in their own homes. That I don't think they give a crap about mass you production. You can buy one for cheaper. How much? I don't know, like a couple hundred bucks? No, you can't. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a they make them life. for cheaper, but yeah. they cost the same. I, I don't fuck. Whatever. <laughs> it, I, well, you know, it's all in the editing. Whoa, no way. The AR took all of the score points again. For this section, we're going to check usability. Can I get a volunteer who has never held an AR-15 or an AR or an AK in their life? Cameron, what is your previous line of work before this uh, being a judge? Translator, get the shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's your magazine. Go ahead and load and make ready. I think you do better than that. Yep, that's correct. And then just go ahead and make ready. Just go ahead and rack it. All the way. Let it go. Don't, don't fucking. <clears throat> so in conclusion, he did a great job. Everybody give him a round of applause. Wait, he didn't put the bolt back. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't worry about it. That's ready to go. So it's, uh... Yep, let's go to the round chamber. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm, uh... Now you just put it in. I taught you how to do this, you son of a bitch. You got it. Oh. Perfect! Hey, look at how easy that was! Hey, good job. Hey, all right! Oh. How? What? What on earth made you think sick? Cliche conclusion. You know, if you keep talking after I say, if you say action, you action. Know. Give the cliche conclusion. <laughs> uh, so in conclusion, action. I <laughs> Mother of pearl. <laughs> so in conclusion, we can tell that um, it is a tough competition between these two. The AK is really okay at some stuff, and the AR is very awesome at other stuff. And um, I want you out there to do some more independent research and weigh the pros and cons and tell me what you think is the best. Go ahead and like and subscribe. That's bullshit! <clears throat> yeah. That is fucking bullshit. The AK's way, way better. It's not just okay. No, it's... Oh, man, why are you kidding me? Why are you fucking kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. No, you... Your mom loves it. You know what? There's only one way to settle this. 1v1 me. In the parking lot. You're on. Nerd. Harry. Samoan. But... Stubbles, infected dipple tit, <laughs> dog ass smelling ass, Samoan again. <laughs> and in the end, the AR slash M4 slash M16 slash whatever you want to call this thing wins the day. I don't think so. What the fuck?